Today's video is sponsored by Best Art. Best Art was uh, gracious enough to supply me with the MIG welder, TIG welder, and ARC welder. So today's video we're going to unbox and do a review. So let's get to the video. Okay, so we're going to unbox it. Check out the, the presentation. So before we open, we'll go over what's on the side of the box. So it says the accessories comes with the MIG welding machine, the MIG torch with cable, stick holder, earth clamps, solid welding wire, eight millimeter or point eight millimeter rather. Um, flip it over on the side because they got they got yeah they got tape cover they got tape cover <laughs> but sorry um the contact tip uh wire feed roller and the gas hose to meters so let's open it up and see what we got Presentation looks real good. All right. Packaging is real well. So here's the unit. Now, I like this because this is good for, like me, I just work at home in my garage. So this is perfect for, you know, at home and garage type deal. Um, Here's your uh, MIG welder handle, okay, and then in the back, we have a 220 plug, and if you want to run gas, there's the port for that right there, and the simple on-off switch is back there, and then here is we have um, to adjust the amperage, usually when you MIG weld, you want the weld to sound like you're frying bacon. If you got the frying bacon sizzle sound, it means you got everything set up properly so you should have a good weld. Here. Here I want to say this right here. The presentation is real real clean. Nice presentation. Uh, this would be for the gas lines. Uh, if you run an oxyacetylene tank, you would hook this up to that. Okay. And then if you don't have a 220 outlet. This is the 220 to 110 converter plug right here, which is ideal for people that don't have 220 outlets in their garage. So that was pretty clever of them to have that in the kit as well. And here is the ground. Okay, you want to ground out before you whatever surf or material you're welding, you want to ground it out. It's just how it works. But then you put this part. It goes here. On the make water. Okay. Wow. Like I said, presentation, clean. I like it. Alright, this right here. Is for the stick, the TIG water. Part of the stick welding. Okay. And these are accessories. Right here. Straps. 
And here's our MIG wire. Looks like it's supplied with two. Yeah, two. Clean, nice presentation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get it set up and then give you guys a demonstration of uh, how this will work. Now I don't have an oxyacetylene tank, so when you weld without one, the material that's gonna it's gonna leave like a white residue for, um, on the sides of the weld just because we don't have gas or whatever. But uh, you can get an oxyacetylene tank for a cleaner weld. But the way this is set up now, it's really ideal. It's really ideal for uh, um, if you got a broken bolt and you need to weld a nut to back a bolt out or you got something small you want to weld, this is really ideal for you. So we'll set this up and then we'll show you how everything works. And for the lady welders out there, because there is, look how cute the color is. I just had to add that in there. So in the bag, you're going to have different wire size that the wire is going to ride on in the machine. This one is a one. Since we're using no gas, we're just doing flux, we're going to make sure that it's in the machine on the one side. Each side has a different, so that's 0 0.8. That, was, that would be if you're running gas. 1.0 would be if you're running no gas. And then lock it in. And then we'll get the wire spool hooked up. Now here, since we're running no gas, uh, you would take this, and uh, if you look right there, how it has that, you'll see right where you need to slide that in at. So you, you'll put it in and then you'll twist it, lock it in place. And then you'll take the ground side, same ordeal, okay? And then you're gonna put it in there, turn it, lock it in. Now, when you run gas, you run this on this side and then put that on that side when you run gas. So now we're gonna get the MIG wire in here. And then we'll get it all set up. All right, so when you put your spool on, you want to keep tension on it. Slide it down and back it up and then start feeding it through the hole. And keep tension on it. And then put your locker on, your spring, there's a washer, and then your little wing nut. This is probably the hardest part. Yeah, if you got another hand. I get it in there. Yep. There we go. And then just tighten that down fairly tight. So the spool doesn't want to move at first and then just loosen it up a little bit to where the spool starts moving because you don't want to wind unwind the wire because it'll be like a bunch of spaghetti and you'll have a heck of a time getting it back and then just unfeed it out feed it into the machine and then you'll start seeing it come out right here. You'll start seeing it come out right here. And you'll just keep feeding it into the machine. Until you get it in. And then you can lock that. Tighten this up just a little bit so where when you start hit the feed wire button the wire will start feeding into the reel 
You can actually turn it on. Hit the switch. And then. And then you're going to hold this button in and make sure it starts playing. So when you turn the machine on, it's going to be on MMA. You're going to want to hit this little arrow button up and switch it to MIG. And then you'll go up and you hold this button in. And start feeding the wire in. When you start feeding the wire in, you'll take the ends off the MIG gun, the tip, and the shroud, and the cover. And just set them aside. And then try to hold the gun out pretty much straight. And while he hits the button, so you don't get a kink. Snip the end off. Put your tip in. Feed it just a little bit. Put your cover back on. And now your wire is all set up. Now we'll just set up a little piece of weld on. I just like cleaning the metal up a little bit. We got it grounded. Safety first. Always. We'll just hit it with a little test. Watch your eyes. Keep going too. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, man. Everybody close your eyes. It doesn't move, bad. It's just going. All right, go ahead. Alright, so after you get all your wiring set up, you're going to go through the amperage. This control, this arrow, controls these two buttons right here. 2T and 4T. If you're not using, ga if you're not using gas and you're going gasless, always click the button and make sure it's on 2T. And then this is going to be your arrow for gas and gasless. We are running gasless, so we made sure it was on gasless. And then you have MIG, TIG, and stick. So we are running MIG, so we kept it on MIG. This controls your amperage, your voltage. So how hot you want the weld, uh, you know, how cool you want the weld. And then these three over here, these three over here are gonna be, you know, 
your wire size. Thir uh, three zero is probably going to be your, ga your uh, gas, and then three five and four zero are going to be your gasless. And that's pretty much all you need to know. And then just your, practicing. Your big speed is uh, automatic with the amperage that's set. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you don't have to worry about setting the speed. Yeah, your wire speed is automatically set in the machine. So there's no, you can set it a little bit by clicking this button, you know, turning it down to, you know, a negative. You can set it to go a little bit faster, but there's real no true setting to your wire speed. So I'm not the greatest welder. You want to grab that for me? Yeah. I'll take some practice, but you can see it's, it'll get the job done. <laughs> You can melt everything together. You can melt everything together. So, for an at home MIG welder, beginner, perfect. So, uh, if you're interested in the best arc MIG welder, the link will be in the description. Thanks, Bexar, or Best Arc, for sponsoring today's video. And I hope you guys will purchase one. Take care.